The keto diet is a dietary plan that is based on very low carbohydrate intake, a moderate amount of protein, and a high intake of healthy fats. The primary goal of the keto diet is to induce a state of ketosis in the body, in which the body begins to burn fat as the primary source of energy instead of carbohydrates. Here's how the keto diet works. 1. Carbohydrate Restriction The central feature of the keto diet is a significant reduction in carbohydrate intake. Typically, this means consuming less than 50 grams of net carbs per day. This restriction is critical as it forces the body to seek an alternative source of energy. 2. Ketosis When carbohydrates are limited, the body lacks sufficient sugar, glucose, to use as energy. In response, the liver starts breaking down stored fats into fatty acids and ketones, an alternative source of energy. This metabolic state is called ketosis. Ketones, including beta-hydroxybutyrate, become the primary source of energy for the body. 3. High Fat Intake To maintain ketosis, the keto diet requires a significantly high intake of healthy fats such as avocados, olive oil, nuts, and seeds. Fat accounts for the majority of calories in the keto diet. 4. Moderate Protein Intake Protein is consumed in moderate amounts on the keto diet. This is because excess protein can be converted into glucose in the body, which can hinder ketosis maintenance. It's important to balance protein intake. 5. Continuous Monitoring To ensure that ketosis is maintained, many people on the keto diet monitor their levels of ketones in urine, blood, or breath. This helps determine if they are in ketosis. The keto diet has been used for various purposes, including weight loss, blood sugar control in people with type 2 diabetes, and some evidence suggests it may have benefits for certain neurological disorders like refractory epilepsy. It's important to note that the keto diet is not suitable for everyone and can have side effects, such as the initial keto flu, which includes symptoms like fatigue, dizziness, and irritability. Additionally, the diet is restrictive and may be challenging to maintain in the long term. Before starting the keto diet, it is essential to consult with a healthcare professional to assess if it is appropriate for you and to receive proper guidance on how to safely follow the diet. The ketogenic diet, or keto diet, is known for its potential impact on cholesterol levels. While there are individual variations in response to this diet, it can affect the lipid profile in various ways and, in some cases, help improve cholesterol levels. I will explain in detail how the keto diet can influence cholesterol. Understanding Types of Cholesterol To understand how the keto diet affects cholesterol, it is important to know the different types of lipoproteins that make up the lipid profile. 1. Total Cholesterol Total cholesterol is the sum of all type cholesterol present in the blood. This includes LDL, low-density lipoprotein and cholesterol, HDL, high-density lipoprotein and cholesterol, and a small amount of VLDL, very low-density lipoprotein, cholesterol. Monitoring total cholesterol is important, but it alone does not provide detailed information about the risk of heart disease. 2. LDL, low-density lipoprotein LDL is often referred to as bad cholesterol because high levels of LDL are associated with a higher risk of developing cardiovascular diseases. LDL carries cholesterol from the liver to the body's tissues, where it can accumulate on the walls of arteries, leading to the formation of atherosclerotic plaques. There are two main types of LDL particles, small, dense LDL, which is more associated with higher risk, and large, less dense LDL, which is considered less harmful. 3. HDL, high-density lipoprotein HDL is known as good cholesterol because it plays a crucial role in removing excess cholesterol from arteries. HDL carries cholesterol back to the liver, where it can be eliminated from the body. Having higher levels of HDL is associated with a lower risk of heart disease. For a VLDL, very low-density lipoprotein VLDL is similar to LDL but primarily carries triglycerides instead of cholesterol. Triglycerides are another form of fat in the blood. Elevated levels of VLDL are associated with a higher risk of cardiovascular diseases. 5. Triglycerides While not a type of cholesterol, triglycerides are a form of fat present in the blood. High levels of triglycerides are associated with an increased risk of heart disease. Triglycerides are influenced by dietary fat intake, especially simple carbohydrates and alcohol. 
6 LDL slash HDL ratio, the ratio between LDL and HDL is also considered an important marker of heart disease risk. The higher the LDL slash HDL ratio, the greater the risk. 7. LDL particle number and particle size. In addition to LDL levels, the composition of LDL particles and their size are considered important. Smaller, denser LDL particles are more likely to accumulate in arteries and are associated with a higher risk, while larger particles are considered less harmful. The ketogenic keto diet can affect the lipid profile, including cholesterol levels, in various ways. As mentioned earlier, the effects can vary from person to person, and the response to the keto diet is influenced by individual factors, including genetics, diet composition, and other health factors. I will explain in more detail how keto diet affects cholesterol. 1. Increase in HDL, high-density lipoprotein The keto diet is often associated with an increase in HDL levels, the so-called good cholesterol. HDL is beneficial because it helps remove excess cholesterol from the arteries and transports it back to the liver for elimination. This increase in HDL is generally considered positive for cardiovascular health. 2. Reduction in triglycerides. Strict carbohydrate restriction in the keto diet leads to a significant reduction in blood triglyceride levels. Triglycerides are a form of fat in the blood and, when elevated, are associated with a higher risk of heart disease. The decrease in triglyceride levels is one of the most consistent advantages of the keto diet. 3. A variation in LDL, low-density lipoprotein The influence of the keto diet on LDL is more complex and varies from person to person. Increase in LDL in some individuals. In some people, the keto diet can lead to an increase in LDL levels, the bad cholesterol. This includes both total LDL and sometimes small, dense LDL which is considered more harmful when in excess. However, it's important to note that this increase is not always associated with a higher risk of heart disease. LDL particle pattern, the keto diet can affect the pattern of LDL particles. In some individuals, it may change the LDL profile from small, dense particles to larger, less dense particles, which is potentially less harmful. This is an area of ongoing research. Individual variations, the response to increased LDL on the keto diet is highly individual and not universally observed. Some people may experience only a modest increase in LDL, while others may not see significant changes or may even experience a reduction. For LDL-HDL ratio and other factors, the relationship between LDL and HDL, as well as other lipid profile factors such as triglycerides and the triglyceride-HDL ratio, can also be affected by the keto diet. A lower LDL-HDL ratio and a lower triglyceride-HDL ratio are generally considered positive indicators of cardiovascular health. 5. Diet Composition The choice of fat sources in the keto diet plays a significant role in its effects on cholesterol. It's important to opt for healthy fats such as those found in avocados, olive oil, fatty fish, and nuts, rather than saturated and trans fats, which can have negative impacts on cholesterol levels. 6. Duration of the diet The effects of the keto diet on cholesterol levels may vary over time. Some individuals may see initial changes that stabilize after some time on the diet. 7. Weight loss. The weight loss associated with the keto diet can, in itself, improve the lipid profile. Weight reduction generally leads to an improvement in cholesterol levels. It's important to emphasize that interpreting the effects of the keto diet on cholesterol levels requires an individualized approach and guidance from a healthcare professional. Before starting the keto diet or any other restrictive diet, it is crucial to consult with a doctor or nutritionist to assess your cardiovascular risk profile, discuss your health goals, and ensure that the diet is safe and suitable for you. Additionally, it is crucial to regularly monitor cholesterol levels and other health markers to track progress and make adjustments if necessary. The keto diet can be a useful tool for some people, but it is not appropriate for everyone and dietary decisions should be based on a comprehensive assessment of individual health. Factors that influence the effects of the keto diet on cholesterol levels. Several factors can affect how the keto diet influences cholesterol levels in a person. 1. Genetics. The response to the keto diet is partially determined by genetics. 
some people are more prone to experiencing an increase in LDL, while others are not. 2. Diet Composition The quality of fats consumed in the keto diet plays a crucial role. It's important to choose healthy fat sources such as avocados, olive oil, fatty fish, and nuts, instead of saturated and trans fats. 3. Duration of the diet The effects on cholesterol levels may vary over time. Some people may see initial changes that stabilize after some time on the diet. 4. Weight loss. Weight loss associated with the keto diet can, on its own, improve the lipid profile. Weight reduction often leads to an improvement in cholesterol levels. Assessment and monitoring. If you are considering the keto diet and are concerned about your cholesterol levels, it's important to follow these steps. 1. Medical consultation. Before starting any diet, including the keto diet, it's crucial to consult a doctor or healthcare professional. They can assess your individual risk profile and discuss whether the diet is suitable for you. 2. Regular monitoring. If you choose the keto diet, it's important to regularly monitor your cholesterol levels and other health markers. This will allow you and your doctor to track the diet's impact on your cholesterol levels over time. 3. Choose healthy fat sources. Ensure that most of the fats you consume in the keto diet come from healthy sources such as avocados, nuts, seeds, fatty fish, and olive oil. 4. Individualized assessment. Remember that the keto diet may not be suitable for everyone. Your personal response to the diet can vary, and it's important to tailor it to your health needs and goals. The keto diet can affect cholesterol levels variably in different individuals. It tends to reduce triglycerides and increase HDL, which is positive for cardiovascular health. However, in some people, the diet may raise LDL, but this increase is not always associated with a higher risk of heart disease. The key to achieving health benefits while following the keto diet is to adopt a personalized approach, regularly monitor your cholesterol levels, and work together with a healthcare professional to ensure the diet is safe and effective for you. The keto diet is not suitable for everyone, and other dietary options may be more appropriate depending on individual health needs and goals.